Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today for Mosaic Monday we are going to be working on Mosaic in the Round. So this is the first time I've ever shown anything in the round. This particular design we're going to be working on is the Greek Key and it was a requested design to do in the round and I figured it would be a great way to start out teaching this technique in Mosaic Crochet. The great thing about in the round is we don't end up with a bunch of tails. We're going to be working, joining our initial chain that we create into a ring. And then from there, we're just going round after round all the way up. This right here is like a scoozy is the correct word for like a water bottle. Or you can, of course, do it just like this and make a little uh, notions pouch. You can seam up the bottom, add a little zipper or Velcro closure, and you would have a really cute notions pouch. And then back here in the background, I'm showing you guys a version done in multiple repeats of the same design to create either a small pillow or you could do a larger pouch. You could do a purse, cowl. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. So we are going to jump in by choosing two different colors of yarn. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and two colors of size four yarn. We're going to be chaining in a multiple of nine. So you want to get your starting chain ready and just chain multiples of nine. I've got some project ideas down below in the description. So you're more than welcome to hop down there and figure out what you would like to make that I'm suggesting. You obviously can make anything that you want. I'm going to be chaining a total of 36 chains and that's going to give me a um, sample like this, which I'm going to turn into a notions pouch. So if you want to work right along with me, you can do the exact same thing. Get your starting chain ready and come back for row number one. We are back and I've done my starting chain in color A. I have 36 chains and now we need to form a ring. So this is a really important part. We want to make sure that we don't twist our starting chain. So whatever you do, do not twist it. We want it to be nice and flat. And we're going to come over here to the first chain that we made and we need to insert right there into the top of that first chain. I'm going to go into the back loop only on this since we're going to be working back loop only single crochets for this whole row. So we just go into that first chain. We grab our yarn and pull up a loop and then we pull it on through the loop that's on our hook to form our ring. The most important thing about working in the round is we have to make absolutely sure that we are working all of our stitches in each and every chain. So we're going to chain one just to get started so that we can go right back here into this very first chain that we slip stitched into. We're working into that again and we're going to do our back loop single crochet. All of our single crochets are going to be worked in the back loop. All of our double crochets are going to be dropping down worked in the front loop two rows below so you can pause here this entire row is going to be back loop single crochets we'll meet back up when you're ready to join round one and begin round number two we're back we're here at the end of round one and i've completed all 36 of my back loop single crochets in each and every stitch so you started with 36 chains. In my case, I end with 36 stitches. So make sure on this round that you, your count is correct. Whatever multiple you chained, we need to make sure that we maintain that multiple. So now as you get around here, you will see we've got to do a slip stitch to join, but we're also going to be bringing in our second yarn color. So we're bringing in color B. We've worked in color A so far. So it's really important that you make sure that when you are about to join, you don't have a twisted chain. If you're seeing something like this, you're twisted. So just make sure that it's nice and flat and even and that you don't have any twists and you should have your stitches looking just like this. We now go in here to the first stitch. So right here was that chain one that we did. We don't want to work into that. If you take a look dead on on your work, you'll see... You can see that difference right there. It looks like it's kind of slanted and kind of almost, almost flat. We want to identify our first stitch. So this can trick us and make us think that's our first stitch, but it's not. We're going here into this chain right there. 
We're into that stitch right there and we're going into the back loop only. Now we're going to grab color B. So for me, I'm doing gray for my color B. So we grab, we put a slip knot on our hook. So we're always doing the slip knot just like we normally do. Sorry, I got out of frame. Now we're going to do a slip stitch to bring this color in. So you just simply pull it on through and on through the loop that's on your hook. Now we can come back here and kind of tug on the working yarn that we have coming out to tighten everything up. So we just tug and tighten it down. And we need to kind of pull on our new yarn color on color B as well. This is fiddly to do on camera, so I'm sorry if this is not the best, best explanation and showing. <laughs> so again, we need to chain one, and that is so that we can just work our back loop single crochets again. We're going to be doing that for this entire round. We're going back into the same stitch that we slip stitched into. And we are going to do our first back loop single crochet. And that's going to be our repeat for the entire round. We're going to be doing the back loop single crochets again. So I just like to tighten everything down, try to get it as tight as possible, tugging on my yarn in the background. So now we can pause. You're going to do a back loop single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And we'll meet back up to join round two. So round two, working in color B, single crochet in every single stitch. I'll be back in just a moment. So we are back here at the end of round two, and we're going to be doing our slip stitch again to bring on the new color, or in this case, to bring back up color A. So we're just going to insert there into the first stitch, make sure you're getting into the first stitch, not into that chain. And we go back here to our back side. So the important thing here is to kind of use your yarn to hold down the yarn from the previous row. So what I mean by that is we're going to make these cross. So I'm bringing up color A this time and it crosses over color B and that will give us a really nice clean inside of our project. Now we just slip stitch to bring that on up. And we can begin the repeat for round three now. Round three's repeat begins by doing our double crochet followed by eight single crochets. So we're working in the front loop. I like to chain one. This is my personal preference. You, of course, if you don't like to chain one, you can go right ahead into your double crochet. But I like to chain one. Then I wrap my yarn and I go straight down two rows below. And as you can see, we've got this section right here that's a little crazy looking. We're looking for this little bump right here. And we're going to complete our double crochet. So this begins our repeat for round three, worked in color A, one double crochet. Now we move immediately into doing eight single crochets. So over the next eight stitches, we're doing our single crochets. So you can follow along right here with me. I'm on my third one. Pull out a little more yarn. Here's number four. Number five. Number six. number seven, and number eight. And that ends the repeat for this row, or round. So our repeat began over here with one drop down double crochet, and then we did eight of our back loop single crochets. So you're just gonna start your repeat again and keep working in that exact same manner. So the repeat starts again with one double crochet, followed by eight single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight ends our repeat. So pause here, continue to work in that exact same manner. One double crochet, eight single crochets, and we'll meet back up when you're ready to join round three and begin round number four. We're back, we're here at the end of round three. We're now going to be bringing up color B this next row. So we've got to join our round. So just want to make sure you guys can see. So there's my uh, chain that I did to start my double crochet. We're going here into the top of the double crochet. So you're going to ignore this and go right here. We're going to insert into that back loop. Now we are going to bring up color B this time. So I'm going to take color A and let it, let me get in camera, let it kind of fall over here. And then I grab color B and I bring it up. So when I do that and I bring it up, it's crossing over and it's going to hold down color A. And we want to make sure we do that so it's nice and clean on the inside of our work. So now we're just going to slip stitch. So we just bring that on through, bring in color B on through, doing a slip stitch. And now we can go back here to the back side of our work again. You can see how it's crossed over and I'm going to tug on color A. So whatever I've just dropped, whatever color I've just dropped, I'm going to tug on it to kind of tighten that down so we have a nice clean join. And now we go into this very first stitch again. We have to make sure we're working in each stitch, every single one. So we're going to be working right here into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. We're going to chain one and we're going to begin our repeat by doing single crochet right here into this stitch. Now we do one double crochet right here. We will do six single crochets over the next six stitches. Pull out a little more yarn for me. So six single crochets, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we will do one double crochet to end a repeat for this round. So round four's repeat is ending right now. And we're gonna recap the repeat. So our repeat began over here with one single crochet. Then we did one double crochet, six single crochets, one double crochet. So you're gonna pause here and you're gonna keep working that same exact set of stitches over and over and meet back up with me when you're ready to end round four. We're back we're here at the end of row four or round four and we need to do our join so we are going to be joining over here to the top of the single crochet so we want to make sure that we're ignoring this chain that we do to start these go into the top of your single crochet insert in there now we need to be bringing up color a this time so we're switching color so we're going back to color a and hopefully if I do it this way, you guys can see a little bit better. So here's the color I've been working on right here in my hand. We just kind of tuck that back to the side, out of our way. And the green for me, so color A for me, if you take a look, it's crossing over it to kind of hold that in place. So now we just slip stitch to end our round. And then we can do a little tug on everything back here. Make sure that we are nice and tight. So I'm going to be tugging on color uh, B. And then we will begin round five in color A. So for color A, that's the green one for me. We now are going to begin doing one double crochet, one single crochet, 
one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and our repeat will end with one single crochet. So we're going to begin by doing, I like to do a chain. Now we're going to do our double crochet. So right here into this very first stitch. Picking up that loop, two rows below. Complete one double crochet. Now we do one single crochet. This is the, the repeat for this row, guys. Now we do one double crochet. Now we're going to do four single crochets over the next four stitches. Remember, all are worked in the back loop. Two three and four now we do one double crochet and a repeat for this row ends with one single crochet worked right there very next stitch so let's recap our repeat for this row our repeat for row number five, around five, begins over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet. So you're going to keep working that same exact set of stitches. And if you take a look at your work, you can see exactly what you're doing. So you're going to pause here and you'll meet back up with me when you're ready to join round five and move up to round number six. So we are back, we are at the end of round five. We're gonna join over here to the first stitch in the row. Now remember, this will help you too so that you don't get confused by these chains that we make, if you're doing it that way, is whatever your repeat starts with, that's what you're joining to. So in this case, our repeat starts with a double crochet. So we know we need to get into the top of that double crochet. And like I said before, I like to pick up just the back loop only. So now we're going to be bringing up, this time, color B. So color B for me is the gray yarn. So as you can see, I've let the green kind of fall down there. It's still going to be crossed over. I'm going to cross over with the gray to kind of hold that down. So we just grab our gray yarn in my case. So grab color B and pull it on through doing a slip stitch. So now we can go back here to the back side of our work and do a little tug to tighten everything up. See, nice and tight and pretty. Tug on it. That's what it ends up looking like on this side. And tighten down that loop. Now round six is going to begin. Our repeat for round six is going to be a single, or it's going to begin with a single crochet. So we're going to chain one. Go back down into the same first stitch that we slip stitched into. And do our single crochet. Now we do one double crochet. Oops. We will do one single crochet. One double crochet. The drop down double crochets is what I like to call them. Doing one of those. Now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. Now we do one double crochet. One single crochet to the next stitch. Back loop only. And then one double crochet. So we're dropping down two rows below, picking up that front loop. And 
and we are end our repeat right there. So we're going to recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with one of our back loop single crochets. The single crochet worked in the back loop. Then we did one of our double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. So you're going to keep repeating that same exact set of stitches all the way the rest of your round and then we'll meet back up to join at the end here of round six and move on to round seven. We're here at the end of round six. We need to slip stitch to join just like we have been doing. So we are going to identify our first stitch and we know our first stitch in this round was a single crochet, worked in that back loop. So we're going to go into the back loop of that single crochet. Now we need to bring up color A. So we want to have color B kind of fall over here to the side and then we're going to pick up color A and lap it over it. So hopefully you guys can see what I mean. So we're just crossing over right here. So we grab color A this time and we do our slip stitch to go ahead and finish out the round. And then we go back here in the back and we're going to grab color B and just give a tug to tighten that down. That's what it looks like on this side when we do that. So now round seven begins and we're going to begin by doing a double crochet that begins our repeat for the round. So I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to wrap my yarn and I'm going to go immediately down two rows below doing my little drop down double crochet. So do a double crochet to start round seven. Now we're going to do a single crochet right here into the very next stitch. We will do one double crochet right here into this next. Now we're going to do two of our single crochets. And I'm going to pause real quick. So now we're going to do two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and two. Now we do one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet. And our repeat will end with one single crochet right here into this very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with one double crochet, dropping down two rows below. So one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Just remember all your single crochets are worked in the back loop. All of your double crochets are dropping down, grabbing the front loop that's left down here two rows below. So you're going to pause here and you're going to keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row and we will meet back up to join round seven and begin round number eight. We're here at the end of round seven. We're now going to be slip stitching and joining over here to close this round. So we're just going to go right there into the top of that double crochet into the back loop only. And now at this point, we're going to let color A fall over here to the side and we are going to pick up color B, crossing it over Do that a little neater. Slip stitch on through. Now we can give everything a tug to kind of tighten it all up. Especially color A, we need to tug on that. Make sure we're nice and tight like that. So, I pulled a little bit too tight on color A, so don't pull too tight. <laughs> so now we're going to begin in color B for this round. We will be doing a single crochet to begin the repeat. So I'm going to chain one. Go 
go back here into the very same stitch that we slip stitched into and finish my single crochet. Now we begin or we continue <laughs> round eight by doing a double crochet. We will now do a single crochet. We're actually going to do four single crochets over the next four stitches. So right here in the next stitch, do single crochet. Here's one. Here's number two. Number three. And number four. Now we will do one double crochet. one single crochet and one double crochet to end a repeat for round number eight so let's recap that real quick we began round eight our multiple or our repeat began with a single crochet a double crochet four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. So you're gonna keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your round or row, and then we'll meet back up to join round eight and move on to round number nine. We're here at the end of round eight. We're gonna do our slip stitch to join this round and move on to round number nine. So again, we're ignoring this little chain one, making sure we go into the first stitch of the repeat, which is single crochet. So we're gonna pick up that back loop only. Now we're gonna let color B fall here to the side, and we're gonna pick up color A and grab and pull on through doing a slip stitch. So now we are going to make sure that we tighten down right here. So you're gonna pull on color B Make sure that's all nice and tight and even. And now we can begin the repeat for round number nine. And our repeat for round nine begins with a double crochet, but I like to do a chain one before I start. So we're gonna chain one. Now double crochet. So we're just dropping down two rows below, picking up that front loop right there. So we double crochet. Now we do a single crochet. Total of six of those, by the way. So the one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we do one double crochet. And one single crochet to end the repeat for round number nine. So right here, we're gonna recap our repeat. Our repeat began for round nine with one double crochet, six of our back loop single crochets, one double crochet, one back loop single crochet. So you're gonna pause here and keep working that exact same manner. We've got round 10 to do together and then we'll sh I'll show you guys how to move on up for additional repeats, how to handle these tails and all that good stuff. We're here at the end of round nine. We're gonna join on or join this round and then move on up for row 10. So again, we know we're ignoring this little chain that we did we go right here in this case to the top of the double crochet and we are going to insert into the back loop only now we're going to go back here to the back side of our work this time we need to drop color a that we've been working in and we need to bring up color b so hopefully from this angle you guys are seeing what i'm doing so we're just going to grab color b and slip stitch with that on through our work 
Now we go back here to the back side again and we just give color A a good little tug to tighten everything down. Now we begin round number 10, working in color B. We're gonna be doing eight single crochets, one double crochet. So I like to chain one. Now we're gonna go right here into the same exact first stitch, right here, and do single crochet. Working in that back loop. Now we're gonna keep doing that. We've gotta do a total of eight of these. So there's number two. Here's number three. Get that out of the way. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven, number eight. Now we do one double crochet right here. Very next stitch. And that ends our repeat for this round. So for round 10, our repeat is eight of our back loop single crochets, one of our drop down double crochets. So you're gonna work that all the way around, super simple repeat. And we'll meet back up to join round 10 and do a finishing round. And I'll show you guys how you go ahead and move on up for additional repeats. So we are back. We're here at the end of round 10. This is our final round for this design. And we need to join to our single crochet. First one that we did to start this repeat or start the repeat on this round. And for those of you who are going to be moving up for additional repeats of the design to create a larger project like a pillow or a cowl or something along those lines, you guys are going to rewind back to row one. You're going to be doing row one through row 10 as many times as you want or round one through round 10 as many times as you want and to complete the desired or to get the desired size for the project that you're doing. So I like to finish off though when I'm doing something small like a little notions pouch or something. I do like to go ahead and repeat round one again up here. So here's round 10 and I'm going to go back and do round one. So we are going to do that together because I like to even out if I have started in Color A, I want to end a small project like this with color A. That's what I did in some of the other samples that I showed you guys. I just like it. It looks more even to me. So by all means, you do not have to do this round with me. But if you are doing this as a notions pouch or a little cup koozie, whatever you're doing with it, if you're doing mine, my size, I like to finish off this way. So you guys are going to insert in to the first stitch of this round, just like we've been doing. We're going to let color B fall over here to the side and we're going to bring up color A. Slip stitch on through. So same thing we've been doing. Give color B a little tug to tighten that all back down. And we just begin round one again here to finish off to give us an even look. And round one is super simple. So we're just going to do our single crochets working in that back loop. So we're repeating round number one here. So you're going to do a single crochet in each and every stitch, back loop only, all the way around. And that will finish off your design. You can also do a round of slip stitch if you want to make this last row that we're adding here, this repeat of row one. If you want to make it a little bit wider, if you're going to add a zipper or something to this, like it's a little tiny notions pouch or change purse, then you can always do a slip stitch round or do two rounds of these single crochets in the back loop. It's completely up to you, but I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. So here we are at the end. I have done a single crochet round in the back loop. So I repeated row one and now I've done a slip stitch round and this is just to even out so I have a similar uh, width of the green that's at the bottom up here at the top because this is my finished project. 
So for those of you who are finishing up, just to show you real quick, so in order to um, complete, we've got to do a bind off. So whatever project you've done, we're going to have to clip yarn now. And you can just leave just a few inches of a tail. You don't need a ton, but you're going to clip both color yarns that you're using. And now we're going to grab this green yarn, which is color A, and we're just going to slip stitch it on through, but we want to pull that on out. And I'll show you why in a second. So now I'm going to go over here, back into the same stitch that we were just coming out of. So I'm going right back in there and I'm going to pull that tail on through to the back side. And the reason why is it just kind of hides it a little bit better that that's a join there. So now here on the back side, we can go ahead and turn our work inside out now. You can see our pretty little carry up. It turned out really nicely. Kind of glad that it's not a mess. <laughs> and now all we need to do is handle tying in both of these tails. I personally like to do a knotted bind off. So that means I'm going to get underneath one of these loops back here and draw this tail on down. And I'm just going to carry it down just a little bit more. So go another one down. So I can meet up to my gray tail. That's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm just kind of weaving it down using my crochet hook. Now I'm going to take my other tail and at this point I want to knot. So I actually just tie a little knot. Probably can't really see. Don't get too tight. You don't want to uh, kind of cinch your work down. You just want to secure it. And you can leave a longer tail and then weave this in a bit if that's what you prefer. It's really up to you. This is just how I do it. So I'm showing that. So I'll knot. I will clip off those tails and I will be done. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to tie these two together. Be careful not to pull too tightly. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. So I'm just knotting it. Not pulling too tight. Clip off your tails and you are done. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you have a really cute little cup koozie or um, notions pouch, whatever you wanted this to be. Or if you did one of the bigger projects, I hope you're enjoying making that bigger project and send me pictures when you get it finished up. Until next time, bye for now.